God, you're still a fucking idiot. You're still a fucking idiot. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to The Boys Season 2. Episode three, over the hill with the sword, with the sword of a thousand men. Good lord, what's up with all these damn long ass name titles? Fuck. Oh. Anyway, uh, last episode, it was an all right episode. It was slow and more like a filler, with more like a setup. Um, but it was still was a good episode. It was just slow, meaning no action. And just because the show don't have no action in it doesn't mean whatever so have no action in it doesn't mean it's bad. It was just slow. Uh really nothing to react to really. Uh but um on that episode A Train shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> so him and uh Starlight have words. Um with uh, deep he's Starting to transcend a little bit, make a little transition. Um, his gills are stuck to him. <laughs> um, and that girl, Kimco, Kimco, whatever, her brother is the super terrorist that they was looking for. And she was trying to protect him, but he decides that he's going to attack America. So she had to put him down. Um, And that's just about it. So let's go ahead and get right to this episode. I heard this is a great episode. So I'm curious and anxious to watch it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. Again, The Boys, Season 2, Episode 3. Over the Hill with the Sword of a Thousand Men. Uh, by the way, we have a tropical storm Sally over us right now. And the weather has changed big time. My sinuses fuck with me. Sorry, guys. Got my tissue right here. I apologize. I lost me bottle a little bit when I popped you one. So, um, sorry. <laughs> you better accept it, Huey. That's huge so, coming from here. We're all square. Punch him. <laughs> I would have done the same shit. Now we're square. How's your crew holding up? Yeah, all good. Uh, we are having a few laughs here, I'll tell you that. The target is the girl's brother? Yes, sir. You don't think it compromises her allegiance, then? If it comes to that, I'll neutralize her. The compassion you show your team is truly touching. <laughs> it's just a figure of speech, man. <laughs> sir, is it true? We're what investigating. The hell you do something. We have to tell Holman. He will know when I want him to know. Just keep the rest of the infants on 99 in check, will you? We have some major breaking news. Superheroes are not born, but made. In fact, created by a chemical serum company. Oh, shit. And administered by Vought International, the company that is in the corporate face of superheroes. <laughs> Suggests the parents also received a very generous payment. Now, I started when I was nine. Were treated with compound D. They were then I was at the mall. We, uh, we passed the pet store and I heard the goldfish begging for their lives. I thought I was going crazy. My mom said it was a gift. Damn, can you imagine that shit, bro? But I was born this way. But I it wasn't. Do. It didn't have to be this way. I mean, I understand. I feel where Deep was coming from. Because he got gills, bro. Like, don't a woman want to fuck with a man with gills? Look at him. Yo, God, this changes everything. Look at what the kid just did. Me and Starlight, bro. A fucking kid. Oh! oh! That's all you got? We've been trying to do this shit for years. 
Thoughts finally fucking going down. The kid did it, and nice one. When we're all done here, I'll buy you a nice big family-sized bottle of top shelf lube, and I'll tickle your balls till you beat me to stop. <laughs> and even then, I won't. I just won't do it. But right now, we got a suit terrorist below deck, and shit can go sideways just like. I mean, he got a fucking point. Eyes on the ball. Yeah. He got a point. You can celebrate later. He got a point. <laughs> he gonna push him off. You call me dad. <laughs> You're raising him to be a pussy. You don't get to tell me how to raise my son. I'm his father. You don't get to say that after what you did. What I did to you was give you a son that you were raising like a little girl. Oh damn! <laughs> you see, I told you. Just like me, Ryan. No, I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you. I fucking hate you. Leave us alone. You, you making him move too quick, you fucking imbecile. Oh, Frenchie. Oh, God. God, you're still a fucking idiot. You're still a fucking idiot. Why did you? Why did he keep going in this to the person they holding captive by them by himself? Stop talking. We can't talk. She's never made a sound since we came up with a language so we could get through it. Oh shit! You fucking idiot! You fucking idiot! Who's Elena? Elena's an old friend. Since when do you have friends? I was just venting about all this fucking bullshit. What bullshit? We have you heard? heard? Where have you been? Look, I know it's exciting uh, taking down a lot and being like James Bond and everything. Why are you leaving that on her voicemail? That stuff can go to shit really quick. Sir, I gotta say, we didn't know about this compound V shit. None of us. Is that so? <laughs> well, we're all victims here, A Train. <clears throat> but we'll get to the bottom of it. See, it doesn't matter who made us or how we got here. The point is, we are here together. You are my real family. <sighs> This guy doesn't shit. care about us. We're not his partners, we're his product. So who gives a shit if Bob burns the fucking ground? You should think before you say something you don't mean. Really, should I? We are not bought. The fuck? Ain't no goddamn way. Oh shit, that's deep. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> Where's Shui? <laughs> He done, he's inside a fucking whale. <laughs> he done lost his mind. <laughs> Who invited you exactly? Starlight. Listen, what I did was unforgivable. I'm going to do everything in my power to renew my light. Mm. Not just for you, but for all the female people that I've offended. Renew your light? Did you just fucking join the Church of the Collective? Maybe. You're an idiot. <laughs> Are you serious? There is no fucking way you're coming back. There's no need for language. All right, enough. We do not have time for this. Look, I am with you, sister, but first we have to go get the terrorist, okay? I was sitting right here wondering why Starlight said what she said to Dee. I mean, I got to thinking about it. 
I was thinking about it. I f completely forgot what Deep did to her. You got my message? No, she did not. Any, I... The fuck? On. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <gasps> this guy? Again? I do not know. Shut it. it. You got rocks in your fucking head? More incentive? Okay. You kill him, or I'll fucking kill you both. <sighs> What a surprise! Hey, you know I had a great breakfast this morning. Pancakes. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> Eat this motherfucker. Damn! Did she just kill everybody in that fucking apartment? Oh my god. Is this homeland and sister? You're not supposed to kill civilians, you bitch. The fuck is going on? <laughs> she got major fucking power. Oh shit! Fucking evil. Fucking yellow bastard. Oh shit, you evil as fuck. That was a huge turnaround. Oh my fucking god. I said he was mine. You snooze, you lose, Gramps. <laughs> I know the news of Compound B came as a shock to everyone. As I said. We are conducting a robust investigation into Compound V. But let me be clear. I had no knowledge whatsoever. We believe it was the work of a small, disaffected group of scientists led by former Vault employee, Madeline Stilwell. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna take a shower? Oh my God, <laughs> take a fucking shower. <laughs> yeah, my sinus is starting to get worse. I'm ready for this shit to end now. This is horrible. Thank you, but we all know who the real heroes of this group are, right? Hold it a piss. She's getting the fucking goddamn, uh, uh, ha, she's getting the glory. <laughs> he don't like that shit. She's in the spotlight now. Ooh, that look. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, okay. That was a great episode. Uh, Compound V was revealed to the public. Now, Vaunt is running around with the head cut off, trying to figure out what the hell to do. Um, so, I'm going to Starlight and Huey, they did it. They did the impossible. Frenchy has always been a fucking idiot. Just like Mother Milk just said, he's a fucking idiot, man. Don't give a damn now what nobody say. He's a fucking idiot. Um, I, mean, I understand you got. I have the heart of gold as well, but I'm not gonna be a fucking idiot. That's a super terrorist in there, bro. Why go in there by yourself? Period. I don't even want to talk about Frenchy. I'm going to get pissed the fuck off. Um, Dink tries to intervene. to work his way back into the seven. I got to say, he did a pretty good job. I mean, nobody would have thought that Butch was going to drive straight through a fucking whale. Fuck. But, uh... And then... Stormfront... 
<laughs> Storefront shows her true fucking colors. She's the same as Homelander. Homelander. She wants the spotlight. She's an evil ass bitch. And the only reason why I say she's evil, not because she killed the soup or tried to kill Kimiko. No. She killed all those people in that fucking goddamn apartment complex. If that's not Homelander written all over, then I don't know what. She's an evil ass bitch, but I like her. Anyway, if you guys like my reaction, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications when I upload my next video of the boys. Anyway, other than that, you guys have a good day. Stay safe and be blessed. Peace.